Welcome to this lesson. In the previous video, we saw how to add the audio clips and uh, the attributes to the game and to the player. In this lesson, we want to learn how to add the the movement to the player. So basically, we want to do the following. You just go to the player and edit the script of the controller here. We go to the control, double click on the controller, we got our script. So basically I just want to work on the update method. So just want to remove the start from here and work on the update method. Okay, first I want to select the is grounded. And in order to see the, if the player is on the ground or not, we need to check the is grounded flag. So we have the ground layer mask here and also we have the is grounded. So I need first to make a ground in order to make this works. So first thing I'm, not, I'm just gonna go here and make a new game object. So by going to add new component I'm just gonna say this is, is the ground game object. Click enter. I need to add the box into the ground. So again, this is the first box. I need to make another copy of the, the this box and move it to the right. Alright, and also I need to make another box and move to the right. So I got these three boxes. So I can go to the sprite, change this into green, and go to this and change it into another color. So again, this is, is the ground of the game. So I need to apply the layer ground to this object. So basically, you have to go select the ground and go here. We have layer. I'm just going to select the ground layer. So in this way, we have this layer. So if, if I run the project, I click on the player, nothing gonna happen. Because we need to add the following. First, uh, you need to have a ground here and also you need to have the ground point as we did here and that's pretty much. I need to go to the code and save the code in order to make make it works. So I got the ground, it's already there. I got the radius and also I got the position of the ground point because it's already assigned in the previous videos. And I do the check here. If the player is grounded, it that means the player is on the ground. So in this case, if you run, this is the moment the player is on the ground. So the player here is grounded because it is on the ground. All right. So the player is grounded. If the player is grounded, we need to add a force, and this force is going to be vertical or to the top. So it's it's um, an up force. So rigid body. In order to add the force to the player, we got this game object that we are in. Rigid body dot add force vector two dot up times the force. So the force is a float variable here. We just multiply by the vector in order to add this force to the top. And this is gonna be happen only when the mouse the lift mouse button or the touch or the touch screen is applied. So this is is your input the get mouse button down so this is when you want to make touch on the screen or click on the lift mouse button and also I need to audio source the clip is equal to jump in order to make the audio source as the jump audio clip here and also I need to play the audio source in order to just give the user the sounds effect related to this jump so let us right now save and run and see what's gonna happen. 
so it's grounded click you can see you can see when the player is on the air I keep pressing nothing gonna happen only I got jump when I'm on the ground I'm grounded so this is the main reason why we have ground here so if you remove the ground here say nothing click run nothing gonna happen so it's only gonna happen when I'm on the ground and that's why we need this if you choose another layer like I wanna choose main remove ground and choose main click run whatever I click on the screen I'm just gonna jump so you can see there I click here 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 whatever because everywhere I got jump I click whatever place on the screen because I'm grounded I'm in the in the, in the main layer so I choose grounded as a specific layer for the ground for that reason because I want to jump only when I'm in the ground layer so that is the main reason why we did that so I'm just gonna move the other layers and keep just only the ground alright this is perfect right now I save and run the game I can see I can jump only when I on the ground alright guys so thank you for watching this lesson see you in another lesson when we want to add some more physics to the world we want to make uh, the background moves with a player so this is gonna be awesome thank you guys for watching this lesson see you in the next video